All right, so uh, this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well a uh, Leo Rising. Monthly general tarot reading, April 2020. <clears throat> and uh, in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, checking out the description, the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And as well, the other thing it is that uh, I'm starting a, uh, a tarot courses. So if you like the way I read and you want to learn to read that way, uh, into the description down below, you are going to see a link to my Facebook page in which you can send an inquiry about uh, the tarot courses. That being said, moving to the spread of Leo for the month of April, the first one here, which stands as the topic uh, of your month, that will be the Four of Pentacles. Moving next, we do have the energies which are feeling and supporting the topic. That is to be the Eight of Cups. Furthermore, what we do have, it is the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the month here, guys. That will be the Six of Pentacles, followed by the gifts and the blessings that you can and should enjoy throughout the month. That is to be the Ten of Swords. Next one stands as the impression that you are leaving, leaving into the people around. Uh, that will be the Justice card, followed by... What can help your long-term go long goal to develop? That will be the strength. Afterwards, uh, we do have what can hurt your long-term goal here. That will be the Six of Cups. And the last one, which is the guidance that uh, Tara is offering to you, Leo, we have the uh, Knight of Wands. Okay, so... Um, the month of April, uh, it may start a bit chaotic here with uh, with those cards, but the more the month develops, <clears throat> the more security you're going to start obtaining career or relationship wise. Now, it's a bit difficult to translate in terms of those couple of cards here, guys, but I will try my best now. So energy wise, what we do have here, Eight of Cups, and that card really points that as the long progresses for you, Leo, you are going to your awareness about what's what 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 it's uh, what it worth it and what it doesn't worth your attention is going to um, expand in generally. So throughout the month, you are going to start orientating yourself more to those kind of enterprises, relationships, if you will, uh, business projects and endeavors, and, and in entirely as a, a tasks in front of yourself that are worth your time and that can't be developed any further into the future. Uh, and you are going to start abandoning bit by bit those that are making your future uncertain, those that are making your future threatened as well and quite insecure which from its own accord is going to lead to a the topic of the situation itself or the topic of the month and the topic is that those uh, things say marriage for example current job as well certain projects or a business those things in your life that are really making you feel solid and secure you are going to adopt a, a defensive position in regards to them so you are going to put an extra attention and extra uh, efforts as well to secure them as much as possible so you can ensure your stable and foreseeable future so uh just to just to overview the months of uh, april for julio it is going to be a month where you are going to start kind of like planting roots in the ground, a month where you are going to be uh, taking a, a firm stance or defining a, a firm foundation of yourself, a foundation that no one can knock you off afterwards. That being said, you can expect to consolidate uh, your position at career. You can, you can expect as well to stabilize uh, your relationship or your marriage you can expect also to how can i say it to um, secure your future job or your future project or your future business as well future relationships and etc etc it's all about securing things for yourself so you can ensure your a secure future of course that will not be true for everything that you want like said eight of cups here points that some of the situations as an energy some of the situations are going to prove themselves not worth in your while and therefore it will always always going to come how stubborn you are so if you are not stubborn 
and you are prone to just accept the things that uh, as the things are and redirect your resources from things that are not worth in your while into things that are worth in your while then you are going to be a very big beneficiary from the month itself if you are stubborn however well then it does look like that you are going to waste a lot of resources before you you learn the hard way that things that you have to push well at the end is going to be a shade it's just how it stands, at least with uh, with those uh, cards. So be realistic, guys, it is what the cards are asking you here. Uh, and uh, whatever doesn't want to happen to you and does not uh, kind of like fulfill your expectations in any way, well, then it's not worth your time, let alone your uh, personal incorporation and efforts as well and love, too. Uh, next one, it is uh, the, cha the challenges, excuse me, that you need to overcome. And I already touched on that. So Six of Pentacles here points to the stream of life that you are going by at that particular point. And imagine that that stream, it's a river. With, it's a, it is a river with a, a rather above average, a fast current. So what you are going to do, you are going to go with the current or you're going to try to go against the current, which is going to be trying to fix what does not want to happen here. So trying to swim against, uh, swim, excuse me, against the current, what's going to do for you? Uh, first is going to put you into one place. You are going to have no progress whatsoever because the progress is as the current go for, as the current is going forward. And second of all, it's going to make you struggle because this is what you get when you try to swim, swim against the current. You struggle more than you have to. So uh, for you, the challenge here to um, overcome is to make your peace with uh, those situations that simply does not want to happen the way you want them to happen. Sca scavenge them. It's the, the word is not even scavenge them, but forlorn them, if you will, and just move into those um, kind of like enterprises which are developing for you with ease you know don't try to for example date the one that doesn't want to date with you or doesn't pay attention to you or doesn't give you the appropriate uh, attention date with the one who actually wants you to wants you to be around them or around her okay don't try to push yourself into projects that does not want you there with a uh, co-workers that despise you but go for a project that actually people were excited to be into their team this is what those cards are uh, pointing and this is what those cards are all about that if things are not happening easily for you or you're not seeing results straight away after you start performing then those things aren't worth it at all at the end of the day uh, at least according to those cards but you do have your free will so by all means do what you suits you best uh next one it is uh, the gifts and the blessings that you are to enjoy throughout the month and that is the ten of swords a beautiful card into that follow-up i pretty much point that uh, even though you may think that you are losing a lot by kind of like abandoning you know certain enterprises and certain concepts of your life seeing that they are not actually producing any results Moving forward into the future, you are to see that actually you have deliberated yourself from a heavy burden that would have been stuck to your neck as a, uh, uh, as a heavy stone. Ten of Swords here points that your radical actions and your radical decisions to abandon one thing in favor of another to ensure your secure future actually is going to produce the results that you are hoping for in other words embarking a new much more stable productive and as well beneficial era into your life and uh, another gift and blessing of the ten of swords it is that uh, things are gonna happen very fast what i mean is that if you are regretful about for example abandoning a relationship because you realize it is not working for you well that's um i would say that displease discontent and pain even is going to go away very very swiftly because uh, ten of swords it has a, a very short window of incorporation or of manifestation so you should you should be regretful just for a couple of days maybe three days and after that and after that seeing the prospects and the results of your tough decision uh, you are to understand that actually that was the right thing for you to do once again to abandon 
perspectives, goals and enterprises that are not producing any results and that are making yourself feeling more uncertain and insecure than a comfortable and, uh, and content for the future. Moving next, uh, we have the impression uh, that you are planting into the people around. That is justice. So, um, well, long story short, and the most trivial interpretation of the card here is that people are going to see you, that you finally kind of like can't discern the reality from the fiction, meaning the people will see you as a someone who now pays more attention to things that can happen and things that cannot happen and you are directing yourself to things that actually can happen for yourself. Another thing, it is that people are going to see you very decisive, that you are no joke, I mean, that you are no joke and that they cannot scrape down your nerves because suddenly you may decide that these people are not worth your time and therefore you will stop maintaining relationship with them or connection with them, if you will. So you can expect that your colleagues, for example, are not going to give you tough time. Your friends as well are going to be very careful when they try to provoke you about certain things. And with the justice as well, people are going to see you as a very responsible person. What I mean is that um, they're going to see you as a, someone who pays very big attention to the priorities that you are setting for yourself and uh, therefore shuffling them or rather like arranging them in a, such an order that none of your priorities is left unnoticed and is left unattended as well. That's why your boss is going to see you very reliable. Your friends as well are going to see you very re reliable. But simultaneously also they are going to see you as a very fair and very just. So if they give you a rough time, rough time it is what they are going to face reciprocally from you. Uh, the other one, it is what you can do in order to further your goal here, and that will be the strength card. So strength card here really points about the strength of mind, at least regarding into this narrative. What I mean, it is that once you make up your time, once you make up your mind, for example, that the relationship you are in is not working out for you, that should be your standpoint and you should not allow anything to reverse your opinion. For example, the um, the begging of your partner that you are preparing to abandon because they because the things are not working out. So here the strength points that you should persevere through patience and through a inner strength, if you will, not to allow once again your opinion to be swiped or to be reversed. And as well, another thing that you need to understand here with the strength card, it is that you don't, you do not need approval, guys. Whatever you think it's best for you, this is what you gotta do, despite what everybody around is thinking. So the strength here gives us an, an idea that while you may not face a, a physical interaction with your personal endeavors throughout the month of uh, April, people will try to talk you out of it. And you should not allow this thing to happen. Allowing it is going to only hurt your long-term goal. Another thing is that if you decide to be with someone that everybody else is against it, okay, which could be very well something that this reading this uh, displays, you know, you are trying to um, stay away, but that doesn't work for you. So you decide to just abandon the idea of staying away from that person and you are... Um, you know, now engaging in a relationship, something like Romeo and Juliet, right? And uh, everybody is against it, but you are not allowing people to sway your mind, but they are afraid to approach it physically. I mean, to, to start spreading rumors and this kind of stuff, seeing what kind of a force you are to reckon with. And uh, yeah, that could be very well a, uh, a narrative for the reading itself. Uh, moving next, we do have um, what you can do in order to... Um, hurt your goal in, uh, in generally. And that is uh, the Six of Cups. So that is about temptations, okay? That is about uh, not approaching seriously the matters that are at hand. And kind of like making a, uh, um, what was the word? Uh, excuses, okay? Ma making an excuses not to do something. And I will give you an example with myself, okay? Um, Many times than I would like to, 
for example. I am making an excuse not to sit and shoot a video, but do something that makes me feel good. All right, for example, play a video game, read a book, go to a coffee, and etc. etc. That card here points as well that you may be more prone to substitute tasks and uh, how can I say it, responsibilities with things that you entertain yourself with and that is what is going to hurt your goal. Postponing the inevitable that you need to tackle with one way or another, substituting it at least for a certain amount of time with things that you enjoy uh, doing. So once again, you have to be very responsible and show yourself a very reliable in front of your boss or in front of the people around. And the next one, uh, or the last one, it is um, the guidance that Taro is offering here. So Knight of Wands in that particular narrative uh, sits uh, as a uh, your personality. So you, you need to allow uh, the personality that you possess of uh, constantly seeking enterprises to be uh, a virtue like you should be an enterprising youthful spirit okay showing that you can um, adapt to a, a situation that differs one way it's it's one type and then the other it doesn't worth worth it and you move to another situation and so on and so forth Another thing with the Knights of Wounds it is uh, that uh, whenever you identify that things are um, producing results uh, your further actions into it, I mean, the yeah, the further actions into it should be reciprocal to the results. What I mean is that at the start of the new endeavor, you may kind of put a small effort in it just to see is it working out or not. But as soon as it starts working out, your efforts need to increase. So it's like constantly increasing efforts. So for, for a constantly increasing results from these uh, endeavors which are going to worth your while. And uh, so, guys, that was your uh, general tarot reading for the month of April. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, once again, if you're interested in a personal reading with me, checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website uh, from which you can purchase such. And depending on the service you have purchased, I'm going to contact you within 24 hours, uh, giving you details how your reading is going to take place. And as well, if you are interested in reading tarot the way I do, uh, I have started. I have started a courses. So um, in order to sign up for it, uh, you should shoot the Facebook, my Facebook page, with a, an inquiry. My Facebook page can be found as well into the description down below. And uh, stay safe now. See you next time. Until then, bye.